so you can see as you um, adjust the um, adjust the view subdivisions it becomes smoother and smoother um, just leave that on three uh, so yeah it, it smooths everything out and it makes this look more like a glass um, uh, it's instead of just a faceted sort of trumpet shaped thing but you also notice that down the bottom it's actually rounded it off quite a lot there so to fix that we just create some edge loops so um, press ctrl R and you'll see these pink these pink um, rings appearing on your model um, down the bottom um, just click on that uh, left click on that um, to select the bottom faces and then just lower that edge loop down um, to sort of uh, it makes the round less harsh down the bottom and looks a bit, uh, looks a bit more realistic and uh, also on the inside here it looks like um, uh, it kind of looks a bit like a glass but it's kind of also a bit thick there too so we just want to make that um, less rounded there so make another edge edge loop control R and just make sure that you pick the inside um, the inside faces not the outside you can see one's bigger than the other make sure you pick the smaller one and then just lower that down to so it's kind of got a bit of a, a bit of a curve on it like that like a glass looks on the inside and so that's pretty much the glass taken care of it's that simple um, so we just want to position the camera at the moment to make to, to get it in the camera view so if you press zero you'll go to to um, camera mode actually first press tab to get out of edit mode and then press zero and um, as you can see the um, the glass isn't in view uh, actually the glass is quite big too so we might actually um, we might actually shrink that down a bit press Z to go into shaded and then press S and just make that a bit smaller and to move the camera around just um, um, press uh, shift F and you can move around like that and zoom in and out with um, with the um, scrolly the scrolly wheel and if you hold down shift and press the middle mouse button you'll um, you'll pan around like that like you, like you do in um, the other views so just get that sort of on the center of the screen um, if you render it now it's it's, um, it's actually in the blender render so we want to change that to um, cycles okay we'll add the um, HDR lighting next um, to get you need, you'll need to have a HDR um, file um, to add the lighting so um, if you go to um, Google and just type in free HDRI the first one that comes up free HDR images this is the one that I'm using and then down the bottom here um, uh, lobby harvest church 01 um, download that and save it to your desktop I've actually already got the file so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save it but um, yeah just save it to your desktop and then on the right hand side here click on the little round uh, blue sphere this one which is the world and click on use nodes and then click on this little uh, gray square on the right hand side of color and then click on environment texture and then click on open and then go to where you've saved your file for me it's here and there it is church harvest lobby open that and if we hit F12 to render a still image at the moment uh, you'll notice that it's kind of floating in the middle of nowhere well, it's floating in the middle of the HDR image so we'll fix that in a moment um, so let's add a glass texture to the to the glass so go to the red sphere up the top here material hit new change diffuse to gloss uh, to glass sorry and uh, yeah it's as simple as that um, now if you hit F12 it's looking a bit more like a glass don't worry about that grainy look we'll fix that later and uh, to finish the scene off um, we should probably add a uh, uh, a seamless backdrop um, I've actually made a seam seamless backdrop from um, Firechild's tutorial. It's quite good if you're if you're new to Blender, you should probably go and make your own. But in the meantime, if you need if you need the file, you can um, you can get it from my website, which is www.chromesphere.com. 
and then just click on 3D models and um, you'll see it there, Seamless Studio Backdrop. Download, I'll, I'll do this now so that, so that we're all on the same page. Download the file, let's put it onto my desktop. And um, sorry, just before I leave that page, I've also got the glass here too. If you um, need a need a need to download a model to check if anything's come up, to check mine against your own, and go back into Blender, and then go File, Import, OBJ, and then I saved it to desktop, and then Seamless Background, and add that, and then the camera's just sort of it's got it's got um, some of the HDR scene. Uh, in it, so I'm just going to reposition that. Um, so I'm going to hit 7 to go into top view, grab the camera, right click on it, press G, move it over to here, press R to rotate, point, uh, point it at the, um, don't look at where this line is, look at where the um, where the camera's pointing, so it's pointing straight. Press 0 again, and um, press Shift F, and uh, to zoom in a bit, just to get rid of, looks a bit better, whoa, that's a bit too close, um, looks a bit better if you don't have that um, HDR scene in the background, and then um, set up the render, so just click on the um, little camera up the top, and um, just roughly, I mean you can play around with these render settings, but just roughly to get something going, uh, I'm just going to leave that on 50% because it'll be faster, and go down to integrator, and under render it's automatically set to 10 but as you saw before 10 is I mean if I do it now 10 is just not enough to get a decent picture it um, it barely even gets started so I mean you can crank that up as much as you like um, you can crank it up to 3000 and hit 12 and it will just keep going and going and going until it gets to 3000 and then go have your dinner come back hit escape to stop it wherever it's at and save the file that's the that's one good thing about um, cycles is you can stop it wherever you like um, in the render process um, yeah so that's it um, oh actually no one last thing um, I'll just get out of that you can see the glass is actually quite dark um, I noticed uh, if you go into um, right click on the glass again go back into material and then click on um, the color and actually raise that right up to um, uh, so they're all on a hundred it'll come out it'll look a lot white uh, clearer yeah, I'm not, um, it automatically um, drops those levels back a bit um, in the material editor for some material editor for some reason. So yeah, you just you just crank them up, and, it, and it, I think that looks more like a glass than it did before. It's a bit too dark. Uh, one last thing you actually have to do too: um, the glass the glass still looks slightly faceted. You can see that even with subdivision turned on, you have to hit on the tools panel on the left hand side here with the glass selected under shading, hit smooth, and you see it smooths it out a hell of a lot better um, than it was before. So that's it for the um, tutorial, uh, I, hope, I hope it helped and um, yeah I plan to do more um, uh, tutorials in Blender so uh, yeah make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah thanks for watching.